Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing an overview of my trip to New York. It is just going to be an overview, but I do plan on doing some deep dives of the different places in New York that we went to. If you find something interesting throughout this video and you want to see more of a deep dive on it, comment it down below and I might get to that one sooner rather than later. We were only there for four days, but in those four days, they really tried to pack in as much stuff as possible. We got this opportunity to go to New York through our middle school, and so it was through the theater program. So a lot of the things that we went and saw in New York were more theater Broadway based. But we did get to see some other touristy type places or other places in New York. Like we really did get to explore a lot in the four days that we were there. Starting off, we arrived at Chelsea Market and Chelsea Market was interesting. It was a little pricey for some of the areas. We settled on a place to eat because that was where we were going to get our lunch. And after Chelsea Market, we went and we walked on what is called the High Line, which is something really cool that I did not even know existed. In New York, it's like they have built this second story that you can walk on and it's just got all kinds of nature and plants and flowers and trees built on it. And it's really, really cool. I don't even know how long it actually is. We only walked a certain part of it. It was very surprising to see because when you're walking down like regular New York streets, you don't see a lot of plants or trees or grass or anything like that, but you just go like one story up, walk that high line and it's just everywhere. You're surrounded by it. It was really beautiful to see. After the high line, we went to the Empire State Building and that was really, really cool as well. And I probably will do a deep dive on that one, but I thought they did a phenomenal job of the whole experience of the Empire State Building taking you up there, the technology that they use, the videos that they use to really make you feel like you were watching the Empire State Building get built and put together. They did a good job of telling the whole story. By the time you got up to the top, you got to go out there and look at New York from all around the Empire State Building. So you got a full 360 view from that place. And I'm so glad we went on day one, which I'll talk about later. And then we went to go eat dinner at a place called Jack Dempsey's. After dinner, we went and got checked in at the hotel. And then that was basically it for day one but still a lot of walking around, a lot of exploring just in that first day. On the second day, wake up, breakfast at the hotel, leave at nine o'clock, and the first thing we did was go and ride the ferry to Staten Island. Now we were not really exploring Staten Island. The point of it was to ride right by the Statue of Liberty because we did not set up a tour to go inside of it. And mostly they said they did this because if you do go see the Statue of Liberty, it's almost like a whole day event, like starts at 10 and you don't get done till four and they wanted to really squeeze as much exploring as possible in the four days that we were there. So we just rode by it. I did get some footage of it. It looked so much closer in person than it does on my camera. It's crazy. Like I zoomed in as much as I could. It still looked kind of far away. We rode the ferry all the way to Staten Island, turned around, boarded it, and then went right back. After that, we headed to more of the business district area in New York. So we saw Alexander Hamilton's grave at the Trinity Church. We went to Wall Street. And that was interesting because I had never seen, well, obviously I've never seen anything in New York, but to see the New York Stock Exchange, I did not know that it had security all around it. You can't even get close to the building unless you have approval to go in there, which makes sense with everything that's going on with the stock exchange, but that was still really cool to see. They have some pretty famous statues that are around that area. One is a bull and there was a line so long just to take picture with the bull or underneath the bull. We did not stand in that line. We just kind of took a picture off to the side. And then there's also a statue in front of the New York Stock Exchange called Fearless Girl. And it's this little girl in the pose, like this little fearless pose. That was a great statue too. After that, we walked over to the Federal Hall and explored that just for a little bit. And then we went ahead and headed over to the 9-11 Memorial Place. And that was really interesting to see. It was really breathtaking. I like what they did with it. And it was nice because when you were there at the memorial, you couldn't really hear any of the traffic going by. Like when you were there, you were present in the moment and there wasn't a whole lot to distract you. You know, you could just be there. After that, we went and got lunch in the business district. And apparently it's this like hidden place that a lot of tourists try to find 
but our tour guide knew exactly where it was. He walked us over there, had a lunch. And then after that, we went to visit Chinatown in Little Italy. And Little Italy is where our dinner was that day. We did get to take a couple hours exploring Chinatown in Little Italy. We did some shopping while we were there. It was really close together. They're kind of like back to back areas but you could definitely tell when you were in Little China and Little Italy. Azalee did see some random person singing and she really enjoyed his singing. After dinner, we went to go see our first Broadway show called Wicked and oh my gosh, it was amazing. That was my favorite Broadway show that we went to go see, but I was blown away with how good it was. The story, the theatrics, the costumes, the cast, I mean, they did a great job. For the next day, we went to go see the Museum of Broadway. So that was really cool to be able to explore the history History of Broadway and all the different ways it's changed over the years. I will be doing an in-depth review on that for sure. We went to Central Park and I was really excited to get to go because I love how New York has maintained this giant park space of greenery and nature and everything right smack dab in the middle of it. This Central Park is huge and we only walked a small part of it. The only thing about day three when we were there was that was the day when the Canadian fires had happened and it had blown all the way to New York. And so my footage from that day, you could probably tell in a lot of the footage, especially when it was looking up at the sky, it looked dark or orange, smoky. And we were at Central Park at like noon. So it was not late at night. You could just see the smoke in the air. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but uncontrollable. And we still had fun walking around the park and getting to explore the things that we did get to see. After that, people had a choice to go to a Broadway matinee or walk around Times Square. And that's what we chose to do. We walked around Times Square, Rockefeller Center, and did a bunch of shopping. We got to see it, you know, Times Square during the day. It was pretty amazing. I did like being able to be there and see how many people just hang out there. It just seems to be like this giant hangout spot. After that, we went to go eat at a Broadway cafe, Broadway Rose, and it was kind of close to Times Square. There's several Broadway houses that are close to Times Square, which makes sense with our schedule, why we would eat there. And at that place, they had performers who our waiters and waitresses would sing to us while we were getting served. After that, we went to go see our second Broadway show called Hades Town. That one was really good, but it was different. The setup of the show was different, and that's where I first learned that obviously different Broadway shows have different theatrics because Hades Town does not have as much scenes moving or the background changes. It didn't have as much theatrics, but the story itself was still really good. Day four was the day we left and we really didn't get to do too much exploring that day. We did wake up that morning, go to another Broadway place. We went to Hudson Theater. We did not see a show or anything. We did a tour of Hudson Theater. So we got to learn the history of it, which was so fascinating. I really enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to. After that, we went to the Museum of Natural History, which is where the Night at the Museum is filmed. And that place is insane. It's like four or five stories. We only had two hours to explore it, plus eat lunch while we were there. So we really did not have very much time there at all. We got to see the dinosaurs and eat lunch, and that was it. I wish we had more time to explore it, but at the same time, I would not have wanted to cut out anything else that we did during the tour. So I have to be okay with the fact that we only had two hours there. But after that, it was back to the airport. That was our really, really jam-packed four days. Now, overall for New York, I will say that I was impressed. I loved it and I was really nervous and anxious before going because I really didn't know what to expect. When you think of New York, a lot of times you think of the crime rate or there's gonna be someone out there mugging you all the time and we didn't see any of that. For the most part, everybody was dressed really well. I will say I thought I was gonna feel like an outsider having a backpack but I did not because apparently a lot of people who live there because they walk so much and they walk to their places instead of having cars, almost everybody seems to have a backpack. Even people who are wearing suits had backpacks on bicycles. Did not feel out of place by wearing a backpack. The only person that we came across that was a little, didn't know what was going on was this guy that we saw in Times Square 
and he didn't have any clothes on except for underwear and he was just running around with his backpack you know running back and forth in different areas shouting stuff so that was really the only thing that we experienced that i would say was odd we also got to explore times square at night i think i forgot to say that after Hades Town ended we did go back and we walked back over to times square so that we could see it at night and i was amazed to see how many people were there at 10 30 at night it truly is the city that doesn't sleep so many people so many people there that were either gathered around in a huddle and dancing or sitting on those steps. I don't know what those steps are called. The only thing I didn't figure out is where those people go to the bathroom because as far as I could tell, there was no public restroom anywhere near Times Square. And Times Square seems to be a place where people go and just hang out. So it's like, where do you go to the restroom? Everywhere else that we went that was public place, our tour guide was able to point us to a public restroom. It's surrounded by stores and restaurants. And a lot of those places will not let you go to the restroom unless you buy something first. Maybe there's a secret that New Yorkers have, either don't go for very long, or they have like a place that they know about that's for locals. We didn't really get a chance to find that out. Other things that I loved about New York was the weather. The weather was really nice. There is just artwork everywhere, either paintings on the side of buildings, sculptures in different areas. I did think it was really, really weird the way that they parked some cars. But when I got to thinking about it, I was like, wow, instead of it being weird, it's actually pretty innovative because they were able to make space to park cars where there was no space. They have some kind of stacking system where they stack cars on top of each other. It was really interesting to see. That was just our New York in a nutshell. I will say that I'm really happy and grateful that we got to go and I hope that we get to go back again someday. I still don't think that I loved it enough to ever want to live there with the cost of living because the cost of living is just insane. To me, the trade-off would not be there, but great place to visit. Our hotel was actually in New Jersey, so that could be something if you ever think about going to New York, maybe stay in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Maybe it's a little cheaper to stay at a hotel there instead of staying at a hotel that's actually in New York. Our drive from the morning to downtown Manhattan was not that bad. In fact, driving around in a tour bus, I thought that it would be horrible, but really it wasn't. It wasn't that bad at all. I will be doing some deep dives. So if there's anything specifically that I mentioned in this video that you want to see a deep dive of first, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out. Bye everyone.